What up, homies? Hey guys, what's up? Brandon, Dakota here again for another video. Now, today we're going to be making a video about biocentrism, and uh, we're going to be talking about exactly what it is, and, you know, so let's just get started. Talking about biocentrism with Dakota and Brandon. Oh yeah. So, biocentrism is basically the idea, it's created by Robert Lanza, by the way, he's a Robert Lanza, biologist. biologist. Uh, he's he was one of the first pe per people to like clone certain animals things like that so he's he's really good in biology in the field of biology but uh, what he does with biocentrism is he kind of merges together modern day physics, physics and biology to create a theory of the world so biocentrism basically states that consciousness creates the universe and not the other way around and uh, you know, at first it might sound kind of weird, or you might be thinking, what exactly does that mean? And, um, consciousness is basically, um, awareness, awareness. of, of uh, ability certain to things. Experience what is happening Experiencing around what's happening, yeah. So, you can, you can replace the word consciousness with awareness for this video, and it, it'll, you know, do for this video, but, you know, that's just kind of a basic, uh, explan or, uh, definition of what consciousness is. Now, how could, uh, well, the modern day narrative, I mean, you can explain that to them. About well, how consciousness, uh, uh, the universe creates consciousness. Okay, yeah, yeah, the modern, the modern day, the mainstream narrative of what we're taught is that, um, the, the universe or the world itself is, and consciousness are two independent things, you know. They, they, you know, w without consciousness, if there were no conscious observers, if there were no people, if there were no animals, we're just going to say for this example that people and animals, or all animals because we're animals as well, um, are conscious observers. And so if there were no conscious observers, that the physical, the physical things that we can see would still exist. You know, the physical state of things would still exist without conscious observers, but that is not what biocentrism says. According to Robert Lanza in biocentrism, our physical world uh, exists only because conscious observers are there to observe it. And this, this probably sounds weird to you, but you know, that's, that's what the theory says. And Let's just talk about exactly what it what it means. It, it's not necessarily saying that there is nothing without a conscious observer. What exists without a conscious observer is a probability, a probability wave. And what a probability wave is is that it's just the idea that you know there's a certain probability that a particle could be here, and you know it's like a ninety percent here, and then maybe a ten percent here. So that's the idea. Um, of a probability wave and that's what exists without a conscious observer now when the conscious observer is brought into play and it is able to see uh, parts of this probability wave um, the not only do the probabilities change a bit because it can actually exist as a physical entity where there is no conscious observer. So when I'm looking in this direction, there are certain probabilities that, uh, you know, a pencil could be here or a pencil could be there. We'll use a pencil as an example, but really we, you should be thinking of one particle. So like maybe an electron could be here, an electron could be there. So the thing is, there can't be a physical entity outside of what we can see, what we can hear, you know, what we can apportion through our senses. There, that's what biocentrism says, that our consciousness creates our physical reality. Uh, do you think there's anything we should add on this video, or do you think that's good? Mm, yeah, I think that's basically it. That's yeah, the so gist that's, of biocentrism. That's, yeah, that's the gist of biocentrism. Consciousness creates what we see, and um, pretty mind-blowing shit. That's um, 
If you guys like the video, just give it a like. If you want to see more videos explaining about biocentrism and uh, talking about the proof yeah, behind biocentrism, yeah, the science, the science behind biocentrism, uh, just give a comment below. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this and more videos by us, uh, be sure to subscribe and like this video and share it. Mm -hmm. Get it out there into the that encourages us to make more videos. Yep, it does. Right. Or just talk shit, and then we'll stop making videos for sure. We will stop forever. We'll stop forever, <laughs> just because of you. But, uh, no. Seriously, thanks for watching, guys, and, um, we will make more videos about this in the future. See ya.